What's going on guys? Welcome back to the World of Juice channel. Welcome to something a little bit different today. And before we get started, yes I know, <laughs> the hair is a little bit messy today this morning so I had to throw on the hat and yeah I'm wearing a Patriots shirt with a Miami Heat hat. Yes, I understand. <laughs> but we're going to move on from that. So just ignore the hat because the hair a little bit not on point. The hair not on point today. So what we're going to be getting into is I saw a video from King of the Fourth Quarter, KOT4Q. He recently did on one of his other channels, he recently did a, a tier maker list of the best snacks based on, uh, hold on, let me scroll up here, based on Rhett and Link's snack at bracket. So he did a, um, a tier list, this exact tier list. So I thought it was a great idea. And I figured, why not show my opinion on all these snacks? So that's what we're going to be doing today in today's episode. <clears throat> we're going to be ranking these snacks. Now, I've had uh, almost all of these snacks, so I shouldn't have too many in the Never Had Can't Rank. Uh, there might be like one or two in here that I've never had. So I don't know. We'll get there. Uh, we'll see what happens when we get there. But... Before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, notification bell, and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club if you guys want to see any more tier list rankings of anything, sports, food, literally anything. Let me know. I will do it. I saw some other good uh, tiers suggestions in the, on this website that I might want to do in future videos. So you might be uh, seeing those. So keep a lookout. Get, uh, get that notification bell turned on so you don't miss any of those videos or any other videos. Hit that subscribe button as well. Join the Juice Club. We are on the road to 300 subscribers. I know we can get there. Let's do it. Let's get into this video now. So starting off, if you've never seen a tier uh, tier list maker or tier maker list, whatever, however you want to say it, it has S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier, F tier, and never had can rank. So obviously S tier is the best and F is the worst. So we're going to be taking a look at all these different snacks and we're going to be ranking them. And we're starting off with Chips Ahoy. <clears throat> now Chips Ahoy are a great snack. Chips Ahoy are a fantastic snack in my personal... Now I know you guys are probably going to disagree with this video every single with every single choice that I make because... It's, it's just my opinion, but this is how I feel about these snacks. So if you disagree, that's completely fine. But this is just, this is this is what I would do. So if you would do anything different, you can let me know. So starting off with the Chips Ahoy, I think Chips Ahoy are a good snack. But out of all these, I don't know. If, uh, I got to put Chips Ahoy in the... <clears throat> Chips Ahoy is an A. Chips Ahoy is an A snack for me. I would, I would choose it a lot more over some of these uh sour patch kids i've never really been a big sour patch kids fan i've had them before i like them but they're all right to me they're not like the best snack in the world they're not the worst snack in the world i i think i'll put them in a b they're they're probably a b tier now m m&ms m&ms are special i can eat a whole bag of m&ms no joke no cap i can eat a whole bag of m&ms maybe even two if I'm feeling crazy. M&M's are just like, they're special to me. I don't know what it is about M&M's. They're one of my favorite candies of all time. I think they, just for the, the nostalgia factor, I, I don't want to put too many in the S tier because then I feel like I'm, I'm selling. But M&M's are just like the God tier. If there was a God tier, I feel like they'd be up there. So then we got peanut M&M's. Peanut M&M's are good. I would obviously choose regular M&M's over peanut M&M's. I think I'm going to put them in B tier. Uh, then we get to Skittles. Skittles are interesting because I like Skittles, but I would I would choose M and M's before I would choose Skittles. But would I choose Skittles before peanut M and M's? That's the question. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I would choose Skittles. I think they're they're a B tier. I put them in a B tier. Now we get to Reese PC. If we were talking Reese Cup or Reese Minis, they're an S tier. Reese Minis and Reese Cups are straight S tier fire snack. 
But Reese Pieces, I've never really been a big fan of. They're fine. I'll eat them. But I've never, I've never been a real big fan of. I, I mean, I like the Reese Pieces in the in the actual cups. Those are good. But Reese Pieces on their on their own, I've never really been a big fan of. I'll put them in the C tier. Gummy bears. Oh baby, my brother actually loves gummy bears. I I love gummy bears too. Um, I think they're great. They're probably a B tier. They're they're very good. Original gummy bears, especially. Maybe an A tier. Uh, uh, A tier. I'm gonna put them in A tier. Now we've got Orville popcorn. Now, don't get me wrong. Popcorn is the best snack in a movie theater. Fight me. Ten times out of ten, everybody's gonna choose popcorn over any other snack. You may get other snacks with popcorn, but you're always gonna have popcorn. But other than a movie theater, I don't really see myself eating popcorn just to eat popcorn. Like, I don't just eat popcorn in general. I like popcorn, but because it's such a legendary movie theater snack, I think I'm gonna put it in B. If it wasn't, like, a staple in a movie theater, I'd probably have it in C because I just don't really see myself eating popcorn. I never really eat popcorn other than watching a movie. And now we get to Ritz Bites. I think this is the peanut butter Ritz. I have... Oh, uh, I don't know. Ritz Bites. That's a tricky one. It's a very, very tricky thing. I've only had them a few times. I'm not a big fan of of the Ritz peanut butter. Uh, I'm going to put them in a D. Now, you guys may love Ritz peanut I've never really been a big fan of them, so I, I think I'm going to put them in there. Bugles, I've only ever had one time. So I can't really judge. I can't I can't rank Bugles. I've never really had them. I've only had like one or two. At a, so, I mean, I've never got the full experience of a bugle so i'm just gonna put them in the in the can't rank cheetos party size bag fun fact i actually have a party size bag a bag of cheetos back there you can't see it but it's back there um where do we rank i think we gotta rank cheetos in a tier right but i mean are we taking into account the the messiness of the fingers because you do get pretty messy on the fingers but you also have like the little bit of lickability when uh when you get done with the cheetos you got that extra little flavor i'm gonna do cheetos a tier it's gonna be hard to get up to to s tier because m&ms are they're they're the goat so far at least funyuns Oh, I'm going to be frank with you guys. I'm going to be 100 with you guys. I have never had Funyuns. Yes, I know. I know. Everybody says they're the best snack ever. I've personally never had Funyuns. I'm willing to try them. I've just never had them. So I'm gonna. they're going to have to go in this never had can't rank. I can't rank them because I've never had them. I don't know how good they are. They may be A tier. They may be S tier. I don't know. Maybe if I do this in a couple months, this list changes. I don't know. Chex Mix, I got to put in the D tier, maybe F tier even. I'm not a big Chex Mix guy. I eat the pretzels out of the Chex Mix, but I, I don't, it's not, it's not my bag. Uh, pretzels, everybody loves good pretzels. I got to put pretzels in the, in the A tier. They're, they're a uh, quality snack right there. You can just grab a, they're low, low fat. They don't, they're not a lot of calories. You, you just ba pound a bag of, of pretzels, easy. Then we've got regular original Ritz crackers. Now, Ritz crackers are very, very important because they are so versatile. You can literally do so much with, with Ritz crackers. You can, you can put cheese and a little bit of salami, make a sandwich with them. You can put peanut butter on Ritz crackers. You can put a lot of stuff on, on Ritz crackers. They're so good. That's why, for me, Ritz crackers are an A. Ritz crackers are an A. Planters mixed nuts, I'm going to put in the D. I'm not a big mixed nuts guy. I'll eat them. But I, I'm not gonna choose them over some of the some of this other stuff. Lay's sour cream and onion is my f second favorite flavor, maybe first flavor of Lay's. Um, 
they got to go A. I'm a big I'm a big sour cream and onion guy, especially when Lay's. Lay's does it right, man. I don't know what it is about Lay's, but they they do their flavors right. I'm a big Lay's guy, and I I like the sour cream and onion, so I'm gonna put them up there. Original Ruffles. Original Ruffles are are a C for me. I mean, they're good, but I'm not gonna just pick up a bag of Original Ruffles. I don't I don't know. It's Pringles Original. If these were salt and vinegar Pringles, I'd probably have them at an A tier. But original Pringles, I'm going to put it a B. I like original Pringles. I'm going to put them at a B, though. Barbecue Lays. RC. Now, I know that's going to be that's gonna be pretty controversial. I, I'm a, I'm a, I, I like barbecue Lays. I just don't like them over sour cream and onion. I'm going to put them there. And then we've got Cool Ranch Doritos. Ah, uh, Cool Ranch Doritos are fire. I love Cool Ranch Doritos. I Fun fact, when I was in college, there was a subway about a mile away from my dorm room. So I would, every Saturday, every other Saturday, I would walk down to the subway, get a sub, a drink, and a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos, and it would be fire. So I got to put them A. They might go up to S tier. That might be an S tier snack right there. Cool Ranch Doritos, baby. Flamin' Hot Cheetos. Now, I've already had some pretty controversial things on this on this list. I've put Lay's barbecue chips as a C. I put I put Funyuns and a Never Had Can't Rank. I I mean I put I put gummy bears at an A. So this is already pretty controversial, and I think it's gonna get even worse. I'm gonna put Flamin' Hot Cheetos at a D. I'm gonna I'm I did it I did it. I put flaming hot Cheetos at a D. I don't like flaming hot. I don't. I don't like it. I don't like flaming hot anything really. It's just not my bag. I don't like it. It's fine if you do. I don't care if you do. I just don't like it. So I'm gonna put flaming hot Cheetos at a D. Original Lay's are gonna be a C for me. They're fine. <laughs> Original Doritos a C. Actually, uh, D. I'm gonna put them in a D. I'm not a big fan of Original Doritos. I don't know what it is. I'll eat them, but I'm not a big fan of original Doritos. Original Fritos are going to be about a D. Uh, they'd be a C if we were talking like walking tacos or something. Then they're good. But I can't. I, I can't. I don't, I don't find myself specifically going to the, the pantry or going to the snack uh, cabinet or anything and getting Fritos. I just, I just don't see it. Uh, what are these? What are these ones? Doritos. What's this light blue bag? I don't know what Dorito this is. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can find out what Dorito this is. All right. So the thing that I'm finding here is... The thing that I'm finding here is Doritos Cool Original. But I don't think that's the same thing. I don't think I've ever had any of these different flavors. I've never had the Blazing Buffalo Ranch. I'm just going to go... I'm just going to go and I'm going to say I can't rank them. I don't I don't know what they are. I probably never had them if I don't know what they are. So I'm just going to I'm just going to put them on never had can't rank. But on to string cheese. Now, this may be weird, but string cheese is one of my favorite snacks to eat. I love going to the fridge, grabbing a, a thing of string cheese, and eating it. It's just, it's just, I like it. So I'm going to put it at an A tier. String cheese for me is an A tier. That may be pretty controversial, but I'm going to put it at an uh, A tier. Goldfish. Goldfish are good. You've seen plenty of my videos where I've had goldfish. So uh, goldfish are an A tier, maybe a B tier. What are goldfish? Are they A tier or are they B tier? They are B tier. I'm going to put goldfish at B tier. They're kind of similar to Pringles. Cheez-Its are a B tier. I'm not a great big fan of Cheez-Its. They're good. I like Cheez-Its though. I mean, just because I'm not the biggest fan of them doesn't mean I don't like them. I, I like Cheez-Its. I'll eat Cheez-Its. But probably the same with goldfish. They're, they're probably a B tier. Jack Lee's Jerky, A tier. I've got a bag back there i love beef jerky it's great it's an a-tier snack uh totino's pizza rolls 
are a B tier for me. It's a it's a B for me, dog. Pizza rolls are fine. I just don't really find myself eating pizza rolls all the time. Definitely not more than than these snacks up here in A tier. Slim Jims are gonna be a C. I'm not the biggest fan of Slim Jims. They're fine. They're they're okay. I just don't. If I'm in a gas station, I'm not really gonna pick up a Slim Jim before any of these other snacks. I'll pick up. I'll pick up a bag of M&Ms before I pick up a bag. I'll pick up. I'll probably even pick up one of these snacks. I'll, like I'll pick up a bag of one of these before I pick up a Slim Jim. So I don't know. It's just not my bag. I don't like them that much. They're fine. And then we go down to Oreos. The final snack on here is an Oreo. Oreo's got to be an A. Oreo's got to be an A snack. It's got to be. It's just it just has to be an A snack. Now this is my this is my tier list for the best snacks. M and M's are the only S tier. I don't know how I feel about that because I think that I'm gonna move Cool Ranch up to S tier. For me personally, this is this is my opinion. Cool Ranch Doritos are the superior Dorito. Forget the spicy Doritos. Forget the regular Doritos. Forget 3D Doritos. Cool Ranch Doritos, in my opinion, are the best Dorito. They are the top tier. So they get to be S tier along with M&Ms. I think I'm fine with this. Is a, this is a pretty controversial list. This is a pretty controversial list. I mean, I put I put freaking Flame Hot, Flame and Hot Cheetos in a D. <laughs> I put regular Doritos in a D. I put Funyuns in a not in a not even in a category. I mean, this is pretty controversial. And I hope you guys disagree so that I can see different opinions, see what you guys think as well. Now, none of this obviously I'm gonna eat most of these snacks. Like I'm I'm not against just because I put Chex Mix down in an F doesn't mean I'm not gonna eat it if it's given to me. I mean I'll I'll eat it. I would never choose it over something. All of these I would eat except for Flamin' Hot Cheetos. I'm not I'm not a fan of Flamin' Hot Cheetos. I would never eat Flamin' Hot Cheetos. So other than that, I would eat all these. All these ones down C or lower, except for Flamin' Hot Cheetos. If they were there, but if I didn't have any other options from this. So I think that this is where my list ends. I, I hope you guys do enjoy it. If you want to send me your list, then you definitely can. Hit me up on Twitter at wait underscore what one two three four five if you want to hit me up with your list uh put them down in the comment section below as well if you want to do that and yeah this is my this is my list of the best snacks m&ms and cool ranch doritos are s tier snacks in my opinion hit that like button hit the notification bell and the subscription button as well join the juice club let me know if you guys disagree let me know if you agree maybe some of you agree with this list exactly maybe there's a, a clone of me out there that agrees 100 percent with this entire list i don't know that'd be that'd be kind of cool but that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. Smash that like button. Subscribe. See you guys in the next one. See ya.